Hello everybody once again, this is Akko Kazoo and welcome back to another ladder series. So I didn't record a ladder series last week because I'm gonna do my tank games first to get myself to a decent rating. So I think 1700 ratings will be fine enough to start this series back again in level 60 cap. So we'll see how far gladiators can go. I think a lot of players actually said that gladiators will not go very far in ladder 1 versus 1. Despite, I think, aside from Nick Chase and a few other gladiators on Moonlots, they say that gladiators on Moonlots do not have much of a future in ladder. So I'm just trying to prove that wrong. I don't have any knight or restrained suffix. I didn't go for a vigor suffix as well. So for me, my strategy is to go in, hit my enemy's heart and try to get off with a win ASAP. So I'll be trying to get my hacking stuns to land. Of course, before that, I'm going to try to bait those air evasions, the passive defensive skills, and I'll just share with you my thoughts about the different classes that I fight at the start, and hopefully we get a good tank games here today. Maybe I'll lose 10 and 0, but you guys will get a good laugh at the end of that, or I'll win 10-0 and you get to learn something from this, or I'll just win some and lose some, and you learn some and you get to laugh some as well in this short video. So we'll see three pages of leather, leather plays here and loads of different classes. Do we see a saint? There's a saint, definitely. So in my tank games, I actually played a saint. Look at that, saint, inquisitor. So many players have said that the saint and inquisitor have been buffed a lot, and it's very hard to fight against them because of the mana issue that many people face in ladder. That's one thing. And the other thing is that the holy burst and grand cross bomber defense as well as holy shoe. So I'll be doing a highlights and analysis of the king of games dragon nest for digital life. To show, you guys, to show you guys how you guys can deal with Saints as shown by the players in that tournament as well as in this ladder match if I face one myself. Okay, looks like it's a warrior at the start. We'll see if it's a destroyer or a barbarian. He seems to be holding an axe. So for destroyers, can go back in fast because they do not have the crisis tower at the start. Punch to the face. He has the wheel suffix at the start. Gonna knock down first. Evasion baited, so he's pretty much screwed now. It's up to me to combo him right now. 10,000 on that finish attack. Get my brave on. This is where you want to get an instance to land. It's probably dead soon, so just get away. Just with a boom crash. Is that ruling attack first? And taken away straight away here. Yeah, an easy first game, as I said. Going in hard and strong at the start. 1500 ratings, not too bad. And we'll go straight to our next game. We get a pop straight away here. And I know I sound I sound a lot hyped up. A lot, I mean I hyped up a lot more compared to my other videos. I want to share with you guys the passion for Dragon Nest. And it seems like it's gonna be a Kali for this matchup here. Hopefully, we'll see what class is this. So Kali, if it's Dark Summon, don't want to watch out for that Chain Claw. But if it's Blade Dancer, he'll watch out for those iframes. So they're going to play passively at the start. What you want to do is... To make use of that Paralysis effect. Finger Spin as iframe as well. General Dumb Blade. Okay, we got her. Get the hacking stance to land, full blown run, you know that if you land that one, the damage is huge. And then the thing should be taken away by that finish attack. Yup, it is. 2 and 0 oh, guys, that was a blade dancer for you. Cancelled that hurricane gust there beautifully. So that's always gladiator, remember your strength is to go in and hit hard at the beginning. Your dash slash can cancel most super armor defensive skills and you want to aim at doing that. So right now we have a sorceress. If it's a less strength, try to be aggressive and try to force that shoot in the beginning. No chances given in ladder. Catch. Caught by time stop, no worries. Oh, this is a majesty. Good shot away from him. Read that one perfectly again. One side kick first. Oh my goodness, that was a mistake from me. Wait, that bling. So remember that time dodge does not have a very long time stop timing. I got a lucky stun here. Watch out for the explosion. So cut off from there. Just watch for the big boulder at the start. At the end. Watch out for the time stop. 
And I got her. And I finished, finished off her. So once again, remember, it's a good start. 1700 ratings as well. I think we're going to hit 1800s today. Seven more games to go. Very quickly here in this new ladder. Remember, as a DPS class, you want to do as much damage as you can in the beginning. This applies to all classes. If you have Tempest, you don't be worried about the recent nerfs. Just go and hit hard as usual. Just make sure to you use your kick shot for damage as well as mobility instead of trying to use it as a counter. Like last time they had the iframe usage there. So let's see. Things another sorceress class here. Most likely a Lystra. See how it goes. Same thing, you want to apply that usual pressure in the beginning. Bait that bling, always good. Cancel that shoe there, you're in trouble. Managed to land that, that was very lucky of me. Bait that bling. I get hacking stance on, probably GG again. And GG, definitely once again, you see, Gladiator have that H here, 4 zero already, 6 more to go. So if you're wondering why I'm sounding so passionate, I've been watching a lot of Masterchef or Gordon Ramsay's Hell Kitchen, and I really like the way he speaks, and I think I picked up a bit of that from him to try and present the passion and the zest for Dragoness through my videos, and I think that I didn't do it as much as I want to, or as good as I want to, in my previous videos, so I hope to bring it to you guys in the future. So it's a Kali again. So in from the start from here is good. Remember dash slash and cancel spirit blow. Catch him again with that front shove. Wait for the air vision. We caught him. Counter Exile there. He got good abolish shy frame. My wake attack. Infinity I frame used well. And GG. So storming up the ratings here. Five more games to go. <clears throat> so if you're asking me which is the more fearsome class that I want to face if I'm facing a very strong player, Illustra is one, one of the toughest class to face as a gladiator. The other one will be Dark Summoner if it's very good. As well as Tempest and Windwalker because it's very tough to actually try to catch them. They can actually move away very fast. Throw time is one of the tricky skills that you want to handle. And I think I popped, but I didn't get the timer going down here so I'm just gonna wait for a while if not I need to restart my dragon nest and come back shortly so we are right back because the counter actually jammed there I think the person that popped me actually left probably re queued and realized that oh my goodness I'm gonna face him again so we decided to quit the queue so I need to wait for a queue to pop once again five more games to go here and hopefully we meet some strong players as well I think just now the that was the spirit dancer played pretty well and I use finish attack to counter pray talk. This is one thing you want to save for skills like holy burst and hurricane gust if I'm facing them. So I wonder what's the next class we're gonna face and I'm gonna try and share with you in that quick match. Oh this guy's got come kill me. I think it's a last if you can remember correctly. Oh, it's a barbarian. Here's that iron wheel to prop. Remember about the advantage I mentioned that you had at the start. We got him. It actually has the Knight suffix. So what you need to watch out now is the... That is the crisis I'm talking about. Slagging a bit just now. Come on, Storm and Knight, so right now I'm in trouble. Just take the... Cyclone Act, don't waste my area vision just yet. Wait for the rolling attack first. And we killed him already. So, very quickly here. Got a good start. He lacked a bit. No worries, stay calm. Cyclone X right now has been, I would say, not a killer move against Warriors. 
because now it's T4 HP, we have a lot more HP to deal with that Cyclone X previously. If you get caught by Cyclone X and Whirlwind rolling attack, you're pretty much gone. But now it's fine, and remember to dodge that Crisis Hall like I did in, after you failed to catch him again. That line draft on the Relief was quite close, but it's probably a Lustra now, so we'll see what we can do. Okay, early pressure. Land that early Moonlight Splitter, bit that bling. So it's a Majesty. Watch out for that early time stop. I'm still gonna come soon, just be careful right now. Oh shit. Actually tumbled. No worries. Blink baited. Watch out for the time dodge, he did like a boss. Just be careful on next time stop now. Cancel that. Teleport? Oh my goodness, this is bad. So you wanna save for AE for the last hit, no worries. Wait for the blink. Bait that one again. My infinite DH now. And I get it. See, that was a brilliant infinity DH through that Ninetales laser. And we go straight for our last 3 games. It's going well guys. And we get a pop straight away as well. Good, exciting, intense PvP and ladder. I think it's because like, oh, you Kazu, are you going crazy? <laughs> so I'll share with you guys my reason for my confidence in PvP. I think if you, you guys realize it's a great increase in confidence. But let's see what class is this. Let's not get complacent just yet. It's uh, probably a Lystra. It's a smash it's like a lucky stun. Doesn't want you to power blink. So it's a smasher. So just be careful with the time stop. Going through there. Time stop baited. Ouch, so Nike is exactly that's a lot. The bling. Should I the frame? Take out the way. Taken away, I mean. Another 1800 ratings. Doing well, guys. Two more games to go. Hopefully, we hit the 1900 ratings here. So, always be very wary of that passive defensive skill. It needs to come like this, like this. Okay, so if you want to reach that. I would say above average tier, baiting this passive defensive skills and dodging them will be the first thing. So if you want to go pro, you want to go above the average, you need to read all this catching area evasions, not getting caught by passive defensive skills, not getting caught by time stop when you know it's coming. That is the key here. And we'll see, I think the next two matches I'll probably get matched up to a higher ratings player because today Liz actually played a ladder series. I mean, she actually played ladder and she was 8 and 0. So I'm going to play for her because like, let me just try Illustra and we met her 1900 ratings while she was at 1600. So we lost the Illustra even though I think I did pretty well but was killed by a freezing few, 10,000 damage at the end. It was a pity and I managed to wrap up that 10th game with a win at the end as well. But so the chances of meeting, beating a high ratings or skillful player is very high now so I want to be careful when you hit 8 and 0 in the ladder. So it's, as, it's another Sorceress. And maybe this time I'll meet my nemesis, which I will presume to be a Lestra. Okay, it's George Lin again. So if I'm not wrong, is that Smasher? He knows my playstyle now, so when you try to bait the bling, inputs the right, got it. Try to bait the air evasion. Waiting for him to wake up. Backs away with that time stop. So you know you have that lead here, there's no need to hurry for you. Because she's the one that is behind. Look at that, time stop, Ray panicked. Blink baits it. Caught here, just be careful. For the blink. Go in and find Shove. Counter itself in. And so that. Here comes the Comet Fall. It's 
Careful, they're coming for now. Oh my goodness, this is not good. Okay, I might just be keep here because I'm out of air evasions. She lands a switch gravity, medical gravity ball combo, I'm screwed. Dodge that one calmly. Line drive in. Counter attack, finished off with that switch gravity, finish attack. And we are down to our last game. Yup, might not reach 1900 ratings, but it's close, it's cool. I think it's a good 9th game streak here. Let's not lose that 10th game. I think I'll do a war cry if I win that 9th game. I mean, that 10th game here. It'll be a good way to start a week. Anyway, for knowing our skills, no worries, there's gonna be episode 2. I have confirmed one of the skills that I'm gonna do, which will be Fireball EX. Now I'm thinking of doing. Or explaining Blade Dancer iframes or talk about Inferno EX. So I'll see and I'll make up my mind at, by tonight or maybe by the time you watch this video I will have made up my mind and started recording the video. So no worries, knowing our skills will be around once a week. As much as the video is only like 10 minutes or sometimes 20 minutes. It's actually 20 minutes of footage but a few or many hours of editing and work. So it, it is really very tedious, just let me know, let me tell you which is why it is once a week. If I do it more than once a week, I'll be extremely drained and yeah, the quality will start to drop. So I want to make sure that I do good research. But right now, the focus is our last game here. Most likely a high ratings player. And we'll see what class is. Hopefully a Saint. And we can show you guys how I should try to deal with Saint. I may be taken away by a good Saint. But it looks like it's a mercenary class. No, oh, it's a Lolly. You cannot get complacent with Lolly. Oh my goodness, it's not... Let's do that duck first. First thing I'll watch out for that. That's what I'm talking about. Let's do wax. Wait, but this is not good. I'm gonna get out. I'm gonna get caught by the ice bomb tower. Let's use my spawn here. I'm not doing well at all. that flash green it but you can see I'm not doing well at all. So the damage transition buff has been nerfed. Just wanna buy time to waste much of mana. I spawn tower is set up. I wanna get to the other side of the arena. Stay calm. Should be taken away. Oh my goodness. I ran out of mana. Guys, is this it? Is this it for Kazoo? My infinity should cancel there. That was my... Okay, I'm dead. Oh, you got cancelled too. No! This can't be it! <laughs> LOL! He had to end with an anti-climax here and I'm right guys, look at that. The last game here is a guy that is high rating. So you guys get a laugh at the end, that will be pretty good for you guys. And you're right. So for Game Masters, I didn't manage to go offensive at the start. This is my main mistake. And as much as I managed to dodge the flash, flash grenade there, I didn't dodge the first one. And then I, I let him set up those matches here. And I want to find any excuses, but it's a knight and restrained user there. And my... Infinity was cancelled. It was meant to catch him and do that crucial killing blow at the end. And yeah, my hacking stance didn't connect. So remember, Gladiator, you want to land that crucial hacking stance here yeah, because it's the most mana effective skill you can have in ladder. Deals the most damage, and then it only costs that one time mana, but deals so much damage. So because you enjoy these ten matches that I have my Gladiator, and as always, give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more. Thanks for watching. So I almost forgot to tell you guys why I have that increase in confidence, even though it was such a anti-climatic last game here against a gear master. But I'll just share with you guys. So recently, during the King of Games Digital Live July qualifiers, I've been practicing a lot with the Matt Guild. So Matt JPL, Matt MGK. I use my Gladiator over at Westwood. Big thanks to Kenshi for actually training one level sixty Gladiator. Gladiator just for me to be able to play over there. 
So I've been training them, training with them in KOF. So KOF is very similar to ladder in terms of counting of cooldowns, knowing the cooldowns of the other class. That's the key here. So how do I know when to use my finish attack or when to use my other skills? It's because I I actually fought many different classes: saints, um, windwalkers, tempers, blade dancers, spirit dancers, dark summoners. What else? Barbarians, destroyers almost every class here, even artillery and snipers and I do have difficulty with illustrious as well and artillery so I actually learn a lot from them and I learn the cooldowns of those classes and know exactly when you should use skills like finish attack sometimes it's not saved for the important DPS skills sometimes you need to use it for that super armor defense battle like you know hurricane guards you can use finish attack to counter similar to Praetor and switch gravity as you've seen in the 10 matches that I had so if you want to improve in ladder, go play KOF, kill or formal there repeatedly and then find a bunch of friends with different classes and get to know the cooldowns and know your offensive strategy in the beginning because remember as I mentioned, your mana is the key here. Remember in the Game Master match, I lost all my mana because I was trying to run away from towers. I tried to reserve myself by pacing and tumbling at the right time but I think I wasted too much at the beginning. So that is definitely my mistake here but we all learn from our mistakes and I hope you guys learn from mine as well and had a good laugh. But yeah. So thanks for watching once again, God bless, and I'll see you guys next time in the next letter video. Bye. Finding shot there is good, it's the evasion. It's the case for Eagle's Eye right now. So what's so special about the EX version of Cure Relic? Cure Relic EX gets the first woman kick here, good reading from Fala. Trying to bait the counter shot, he gets it, avoids the Eagle's Eye there. That's a good shot, but the server is not doing justice. As is best to back right now, The same last in standing position. Now cast Cure Relic against one and knock down the top of the top here. Let's go by booking on this big shot here. This is the end of the next year. He cannot make this big shot. Make it the more as fast as he can. Nice. Let's see what he does with the next. Gets to normal.